Today, I have a build idea for all of you that I think you'll be very excited about. So I have made a zip line that covers the entire map. And I'm gonna tell you right now, this was the most fun I've ever had in this game building literally anything. So right now, I am on the furthest corner of the map by the islands, the uninhabited islands. And I'm gonna show you this zip line that I made that takes me from this corner of the map all the way to the other corner of the map in around eight minutes. So this was extremely fun to build, guys. This was definitely the most fun thing I have yet to build in this entire game. So once we go through this, I will show you how, like the simple process to make this happen. Um, but while we're doing this, I'll also talk about some of this and explain some of this. So the biggest thing is knowing how to take the zip line at the maximum distance and then making these little tree platforms uh, for you to land on. I prefer tree platforms because I don't have to deal with any of the enemies on the ground. I don't have to deal with any of them destroying anything. And one thing you have to worry about, and you'll notice some of these weird things I have on the sides. Uh, I have those because there's a chance that it just throws you off randomly. The physics of this game are not perfect. So make sure you always heal to full before taking the zip line, or else you could end up in some serious trouble. Um, so then, one thing that can happen is the physics can get wonky and just launch you sometimes, but it's pretty rare. But every now and then it'll shoot you off the platform for no reason, so... Not all of them have guardrails, they all need a little guardrails, but... Uh, I didn't really have time to do guardrails in everyone. So now we're gonna get to one of the most exciting parts, which was trying to scale this mountain. It took me at least an hour to figure out the engineering behind this one, but I eventually got it. Got a path figured out that was reasonable with only one normal platform and all the rest with tree platforms. I tried to use tree platforms as much as possible when making this uh, zip line fast travel network. And I did a pretty good job, but there are some areas where it's unavoidable that you have to build uh, actual structures to support them. And the area I'm thinking of most specifically is on top of the mountain. Because on top of the mountain, there are no trees. So I had an option to go around the mountain, but I decided I didn't want that actual extra transit time. So I decided to just painstakingly go over the mountain, so that way whenever I want to go to the other side of the island, I can go there as fast as possible. Now there are multiple reasons why I did this. The first and primary reason I did this was because I want to build an island base on that island I showed you at the beginning of the video. And also you might want to make sure you're subscribed for that because I'm thinking that'll be my next video is I know a trick on how to actually make a zip line that goes to the island and how to build on the island without having to swim the logs over. And I'm going to cover that and making an epic island base in my next video. Uh, but I decided I want to make that island base and I don't want to have to run for an hour to go get there. So I wanted to make the zip line network so I could just get there faster and more easily. And then I can actually make it so on my main save file I have the island base and my normal base and I can just get to them whenever I want. So the transit time from my normal base to the uh, island base I'm gonna be building is somewhere around six minutes or so. Uh, my island base is not at the corner of the map in the way we're going, but it's pretty close to that. So while I did this, I went ahead and just made it go all the way to the corner of the map so I could show you just how much time you save. Now from my experience, running from one end of the map, one corner of the map all the way to the other corner takes somewhere between 40 and 60 minutes. I never clocked it, but it's an, it's an enormous amount of time. And that's assuming you go over the mountain and not around the mountain. And this zip line brings that down to about eight minutes, which is just phenomenal. It's honestly the most worth it build I've ever done in this game. But again, I want to reiterate that it was the most fun I've ever had building anything in this game. The engineering challenge of zip line to zip line and figuring out how to make each one work was extremely fun. Also, wow, I forgot, I needed to fix this. I fixed this, but I didn't, I saved and loaded or something and it messed it up. So I'm going to take that off and put this over here. This one should be good to go. Okay, back to the zip line. Uh, so now we're getting to the most fun part of the zip line. So the mountaintop. Now doing the mountaintop took a good hour or two. I want to say it took an hour and a half, but it might've been two hours. So we have to do multiple platforms without trees because there are no trees on the mountain. So the first one we have was right here on this edge right here, which was very hard to get a level build on. Then we have this one, which was the apex of the mountain. This was basically the peak of the mountain. I had to build a very advanced structure right here in order to cover all the angles that I could potentially fly off the map. Because if I fall off that platform at the end of the zip line, I will fall to my death. And the same thing goes for this one. I put a little bit of extra care into this one 
to make sure that it's set up in a way where, it's, generally speaking, I should never fly off the mountain. And then we go over to this one, which was honestly po quite possibly the most difficult uh, post to build because the angle was so steep. The game did not want me to build here, so I had to do some crazy improv advanced building in order to make that structure exist. But I got, to, got it eventually, and now we're heading down the other side. Uh, this was the first platform I built that was without a tree, and it came out pretty nice. It was just a pretty solid one. And now we're getting back to the trees. From here on out, it's just tree platforms. And we're already over halfway done getting to the other side of the island. So periodically, I randomly put a little camp so I can save along the way if I want to, which is something I would recommend doing because... Uh, there's always that chance that it just launches you. I very, very rarely, not only will it launch out the platform, but I have had before where the physics bug out and I'll actually go flying into the sky when I hit a tree. But so far, that's only happened once out of maybe like 500 zipline travels like this. So hopefully that will never happen again. But either way, this thing is absolutely amazing, guys. We're coming up to another crazy precipice that you'll be able to see out from. And then from there, it's going to go downhill to another really cool one. Uh, this one, I really got to put some guardrails on. I could definitely go flying off and die there, but I just haven't had time to add them yet. And then we're going to go down to here. It's going to be pretty standard zip lining down from here. Uh, but then the next one after this is going to be another really cool one. I also connected this to a few different places later on, like different camps and things where I can collect ropes or I can collect ammunition, stuff like that. Uh, so there's a lot of cool things that you can do with this zip line. Uh, I have a whole fast travel network system laid out. I have them going to the 3D printer. I have them going to cave, a cave that has ropes. And I just have one that's going off around the mountain instead of over the mountain. But that one's not complete yet. Uh, but I'm very, very happy about this. It took me a whole day to do this. And it was absolutely worth it. Because the biggest problem I have in this game personally... Oh, got to bounce. Uh, one of the biggest problems I have in this game personally is because of how annoying it feels to go over or around the mountain... I never find myself going to the other side. So whatever side I built my base on, I never want to leave. I never want to go and see what's on the other side. And the biggest problem with that is just the travel time. So now that I have the zip line, the whole world feels accessible. Uh, the only thing I need to do now is I have one that's going around the side. And if I finish that, then I just need one to go to the opposite corner. Basically, if I can connect all four corners of the map with a zip line fast travel network, then at that point, the whole map suddenly feels accessible. And while, yes, I could just walk to any of these destinations, I, I know myself well enough, and I'm sure for a lot of you it's the same way, I know I won't walk to those destinations. There may be a one-time thing, like I want to go get the shotgun, or I want to go get a chainsaw, or some tool, or something. But uh, outside of that, if I'm just like, let's go see if there's anywhere out there that I'd want to build, or go exploring, no shot is it ever going to happen. Very rarely do I ever go do that, just because of how awful it feels to go walk out that way. Also, I really quick want to say I built a tent right inside of a cannibal camp and it made them never respawn again. So because of that, that right there, that place is where I get ropes now because there's like four or five rope spawns in that cannibal camp and I can just farm ropes there. Then we're coming up here and there's going to be another cannibal camp on the left. We're getting out into the forest. This place is extremely dangerous if you ever use a gun. I found out when doing this, uh, building the zipline network, that if you fire guns, it makes tons of more cannibals spawn. And next thing you know, you're just swarming with cannibals. And it's an absolute nightmare to try to fight them all. So arrows are always best if you can have the, the self-control to use them. So here's another cannibal camp on the left. Uh, that's a pretty big one, honestly. And there's not really much to say about it. All right, so now we're heading on over to here. And now this next one is going to take us to the camp near the shotgun spawn. And this camp is an amazing camp. There's a guaranteed ammunition spawn and there's also a crate that often has shotgun shells in it so that one's a good one and is a source of water that one was in my best uh base locations video that one's really nice so i definitely wanted to connect that to the network uh then over here we have another camp in case i need a save surprisingly it's been pretty smooth sailing this time around every now and then when i'm going on these like i said you'll just hit it and for some reason it'll just launch you off like a missile uh because the physics system bugs out every now and then there's our first fall in a while uh but so far i haven't really had it happen uh, some of these, these were some of my last ones that were on right now. Some of the last ones I did, and I was getting really lazy by that point. And I needed to adjust the height of the treehouse a little bit, but I didn't get around to doing it. So now we're going to head over to this one. And now down to here, we are heading to the other shore. 
And all in all, that took us, I want to say, around nine minutes, maybe nine and a half minutes. And that was with a few falls and a thing for me stopping and picking up logs and moving them and stuff. So now, check it out. We are on the opposite corner of the map. It took, again, around nine minutes or so. So that is amazing, guys. If you needed a build idea, something fun to do in your free time when playing this game, a million percent I recommend doing this, guys. This was, again, this was the most fun I've had building in this game hands down i was laying in bed just thinking about how i'm going to get down the mountain with my zip line or whatever like i could not even stop thinking about it because of how much fun i was having building this network i wanted to add into here i forgot to add something to cut it in somewhere so uh, i was going to show you how to make these really quick and easy so what you're going to do is you have a tree platform you're going to aim on the tree as high as you can try to center as best as possible right on the center and then once you get it like that uh you're going to run it and now there's two ways of doing this. There's the perfect way of doing this, and then there's just the eh, just trying to get it over with fast kind of way. So if you run far enough, the zip line will eventually break. And once you get to that point, you can't go any further. You can't shoot it any further than that. There's like a maximum distance. And what you can do is you can run to that distance, and once it snaps, you can put a stick in the ground to mark how far it was, or you can kind of just guesstimate once you've done it enough. So in my case, it, I think it's about to snap. I don't think I can go much further than this. I don't think I'll even be able to go to these trees up here. It'll probably snap before then. So realistically, I'd probably just put it on this tree. So then you'll go ahead and you'll connect it to the other tree. So we'll say this one, put it as high as you can, unless it's a really tall tree. Sometimes it won't let you place it, so you might just want to try a different tree, so like that. Then you're going to open the build menu, and you're going to put a tree house. Your biggest thing is make sure the tree house is not too high, and also line the rope up with one of the zip lines normally. And then uh, put it as low as you need to where your feet won't catch. Okay, something like that should be safe. And then generally the fastest way is just go straight for two different trees. Uh, one tree rarely will have enough logs to build the whole tree house. So generally I just cut down one and then I cut down another and then I start building. So we do this one and then we're going to do this one. which should cut really, really fast. And then from there you just start picking up logs and you start building the actual tree house. Uh, oh my god, okay, maybe this one actually is going to take a little while. This tree is... I thought it was one of the fast ones. All right. So then obviously you're going to start building it. Put down that. Put down your rope. And also you're going to need a good, a good source of ropes, grappling hooks, and zip lines. You can check out my uh, zip line fast travel network video to learn more about the best way to get all that set up. And then if you have extras, you can always just throw them up like this. If you want to try to build guardrails, it's up to you. Guardrails are a good idea. I'm usually just too lazy to do it. And then you'll go up here and you'll stick this on to the sides, which is why you want to line the rope up with the zip line. So that way you can have the logs on the sides. And then from there, it's good to go. You want to test it one time to see if it's running through any trees. If it is running through a tree, it'll throw you off. And then you just need to cut down that tree and then it should be all clear. And it looks like this one's all good, although I didn't line it up very well. So now I almost died. Uh, so that was just a demo one. Realistically, I wouldn't have done it at that angle when I have a pillar blocking like that. But either way, that was how to do that. It's the quickest way to do that. And now you know how to build and connect these things. Additionally, if you feel like you have time, I highly recommend putting wall torches somewhere on this structure. Uh, if you have to put down a post, then put down a post. I don't know if we can actually put it on the side. It looks like we can. So I would just stick one literally anywhere, just so at nighttime you can actually see these things. It makes it a lot cooler at night. It allows you to travel more easily at night. Uh, so if you're playing on a server where people don't sleep together at the same time at night to skip the nighttime, you have to play at nighttime then having the uh, wall torches on the sides of your um, the sides of your tree houses will make it so that you have something you can do at night. You can at least change where you are on the map in the middle of the night. And one last time, because I built this, now the whole island feels accessible. Now I feel like I can go anywhere and build anything and not have to worry about the, oh god, what if I have to run back or what do I, go oh my god, it's going to take me so long to get there. I don't worry about that anymore. I just go wherever I want to go and I save myself I mean, in the long run, if I play this game long enough, I'm going to save myself tens of hours, if not hundreds of hours, if I were to play long enough, thanks to the Zipline Network. This is the best build idea that I've ever had in this game. It was the most fun I've had in this game so far, and I hope that you guys enjoyed this and that you have fun as well. Uh, also, check out the description of this video for other awesome Sons of the Force videos, log dupe exploits, item dupe exploits, building guides, advanced building guides, roof guides, etc., etc., etc. Also, if you want to support me, just check out Art Gallery Simulator on Steam. It's a game that I'm making. There's a link for it in the description of this video. Just go there and wishlist it. That would help me out a ton. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully, this build idea will keep you occupied for a while. Hopefully, you have as much fun building it as I did.